Uh, welcome everyone. This is the uh, third session of GVM. In the previous sessions, we discussed about uh, insert mode and the command mode. So if you haven't watched the previous GVM video 1 and 2, please I encourage you to watch them. This is the third video and uh, I am also trying to continue the command mode in this video. Uh, I told in the previous video how to use command mode and also some of the features like copy paste cut paste uh, those advanced features of command mode and today I'm continue to do that uh, today's video will cover some practice on moving the cursors uh, you know in command mode and you will understand it better so in order to do that let me open a gvim uh, any file in gvim let me just open F4 <coughs> just moving it for the readability so you can see there's a we have this file and some lines are given in this file so first thing for example when we, so when we open the GVM as you know it is uh, in command mode by default right so for example if you are at any line let's say you are at line number one your cursor we mean so if you just press uh, dollar which is shift dollar so you you can always go at the very end of the line in any line if you are let's say if you are here and if you just press a dollar which is shift dollar obviously on top of four there's a dollar sign so shift then then the basically dollar sign so in every time you press a dollar sign you will go at the end of the line okay uh, same thing if you press a uh, carrot or cap button then you will uh, move to beginning of the lines for example I'm here if I add a carrot or cap sign I can go at the very beginning of that particular line okay uh, for example I'm here in this line uh, by the way you can also enable the line numbers by doing colon okay and then set and then NU and you means number and if you enter you will see that you can also enable the line numbers like by this if you want to disable it you can do again set no and you or means no no you can also di disable <coughs> so let's say I'm at line number this line number which is line number five okay so line number five so let's say if I want to go at the beginning of the first line so you can do colon and then one so colon one will always get you to the beginning of the line let's say if you want to go to the last line from any line so if from let's say here we do shift G which is capital G so if you do capital G you can go to the last line always at the beginning of the last line right so the beginning of the first line is colon one and beginning of the last line is colon G sorry shift G so colon one is for the first line beginning and shift G is the last line beginning okay <clears throat> let's go let's try to jump word by word for example I am here on this word THIS I want to switch move to the next word which is file just use capital W so capital W will allow you to sh move from one word to another again 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 so this way you can go so let's say if you want to go at the end of the word so you use a small e so you can you can see smallly jump to the end of the word you can see what I mean so for example let's try again so let's say if I have a T if I use capital W I will switch to the next word and the beginning of the word for example now I am here at this point and if I press small e so small e will allow me to move to the end of the same word okay while capital W will allow me to switch to the next word beginning like this so this is the usage now let's say I want to go to any specific line so let's say if I want to go to any specific line so you can do this by two methods one is you can tip colon and then give the line number for example colon 2 so colon 2 will give you to second line colon 3 third line okay and I told you shift G it's last line right and colon 1 is first line so this is the way 
uh, you can also do let's say uh, we are here and I do uh, some number let's say 2 and then capital G so 2 capital G will also allow me to go to the second line <clears throat> so these are the some options on moving how to move from one place to another in a file let's try to do some second uh, operation of JVM which is called editing of a text how can you edit a text for example uh, I, let's say I want to rem I want to uh, so let's say there is a typo okay let me make a typo for you then we correct it okay so let's say here I will write uh, um, so for example I gave uh, DD M M M O so this is uh, D D D E M M O so you can see this is not correct and I want to make it demo D E M O so uh, one conventional so this is insert mode okay when I type I press I and then insert mode so I, I press escape go back to command mode okay so now uh, let's say you want to correct this so you know how to do it so in the previous session I told you you can delete 1 D and then 1 M uh, right by X by pressing X in the command mode press X like this I'll show you this and then this this is how you can fix so you can now save it so this is one way of fixing it but uh, let's say uh, I will show you another example so let me just give you some other example so let's say there is a DENO which is not correct I have to do it demo DEMO so instead of deleting N and then uh, pressing M it would be a hectic task so what you can also do you can use a replacement character R try, try a key R small r and then try to replace okay so let's see so if I am at N now I press R you can see when as soon as I press R the cursor uh, has become initially it was a vertical cursor now it is a horizontal cursor at the bottom of this N now I simply press M for a replacement of N to M so you can see it is very easy to replace any character by R R key so this even doesn't go into into the insert mode you can simply directly replace so now let's save it so this is how you can simply replace it so let's uh, let's move ahead for next one you can join let me just open another file so that you understand it better I have a simple file f5 so in f5 you can see there are some lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 let's say I want to join uh, first and second line together so I should be on the first line and then you uh, press capital J capital J will uh, join the second line to the first line you can see now let's say I'm here in the first line I want to join the second line again with the first line again you do say capital J so you can see how simply you can join uh, these lines by using capital J so you can undo by U and again a small U will undo the last change so you can again change like that okay let's say I want to join everything together all the lines uh, I want to join in one go uh, into the first line I want to join 2 3 and 4 5 6 there's a simple way of doing it you can do colon and then dollar uh, sorry percent and then you use uh, here you use um, uh, J okay J like this okay maybe it's a small so let's try again percent and then small J so you can see percent J can actually join all the lines into one line okay so now do, again do small u and you can see uh, you can simply change uh, so capital J is mainly for when you want to join li uh, line by line in the main window but uh, if you are if you want to do everything you have to do colon percentage and small j like that and then capital u again for undo okay so let's say so i told you right this is good so now small r i have covered already i will show some more examples so i go back to my file number four just to demo you some more examples so let's say i want to change uh, 
or so we do we did the replacement by r right small r this time i will use the uh, another method called change uh, entire line by in, a, in a, using the insert mode uh, uh, command so for example to change this line called pine pine n m m so what you can do here you, can, you are at any place of this line and you use double c okay two times c so as soon as you press two times c it will not uh, only delete that line but it's, it will also by default it will change to insert mode so that you can write something new so you can write pine just pine for example or pine uh, same way if you if you type c w it will allow you to change the word for example i am on this word pine okay so let's say i want to i will so i will type here c w so you can see c w will uh, so the cursor it it changes it allows you from the cursor position okay so you change it here let's try from here so i am here at s now i type c w so you can see it has deleted an entire word and also you are in insert mode so you can write again search for example or you can type anything you want so here i am just typing search uh, so much today till this point i think this is good enough for you to uh, study or re revise the topics please please go through jvm tutorial 1 2 also and this 3 as well if you have questions please ask in the comment do share like subscribe whatever you want to do just do it okay thanks thanks for watching bye take care